Now, Brittany Griner is appealing her nine year prison sentence in Russia for drug possession. Griner, who is from Houston, is working with her legal team and the U.S. government to get back home. Here is a live look at that hearing right now in Moscow. Our Brittany Jeffers is live this morning with what we've learned and has brand new video. Brittany, good morning. And good morning to you. Now there was a slight delay this morning, but as you can see, we just took a live look. That hearing is now underway. And something that we do want to point out is the fact that in the previous court proceedings, the WNBA star Houston native Brittany Griner was physically inside of the courtroom. Things look a little bit different today. Griner instead will be appearing via teleconference from her detention center. So that is something to point out about that hearing today. Now the the two time Olympic gold medalist was sentenced back in August to nine years in prison after Russian authorities say that she had vape canisters with cannabis oil in her luggage. Now, Griner pleaded guilty to the charges but testified that she brought them to Russia unintentionally and had packed hurriedly. Her defense teams presented written statements saying that she had been prescribed cannabis to treat pain. Griner's attorneys are expected to argue that the verdict was unfair and unjustified. Now, a a number of different scenarios could play out through this appeal process. The court hearing the appeal could choose to leave Griner's verdict in place or they could overrule it and send it back to the lower court or even reduce Griner's prison terms. Now, the U.S. State Department has maintained that Griner is wrongfully detained and her case prompted concerns whether she was being used as a political pawn. I can say there have been active discussions, including in recent days, but uh, our imperative is to see Paul Whelan and Brittany Griner returned home. We are not going to do anything to say anything publicly uh, that could impair that ability. So as far as a timeline in this appeal process, according to Griner's attorneys, the outcome is expected today as well. Now this hearing is underway as we speak. We're going to continue monitoring this and I'll have another update in the next hour. Reporting live from downtown Houston, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News.